so I thought a lot about this because um, because <laughs> I love Dune and I love worms. I'm Michael Werner. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Utah. And I use uh, a small roundworm called a nematode to get at uh, genetic and molecular mechanisms of how development works. Don't try to impress anyone. Dune is one of these amazing blendings of uh, so real science, there's a ton of ecology. With the core, the foundation of this story is really the concern about uh, how absolute power can corrupt absolutely. Also, the worms are really, really cool. <laughs> it's written in the books that they are supposedly an adult at 400 meters long, or about four football fields in size. The largest animal that has ever lived is actually living with us today. It's a blue whale. It's not a dinosaur, as some people might assume. So blue whales are also enormous. Um, they weigh about 300 uh, to 400,000 pounds. But the sandworms of Arrakis would weigh in at approximately 4.4 billion pounds. So um, they would dwarf even the blue worms of today, or <laughs> the blue whales of today. The analogous worms that we have on Earth are invertebrates. They don't have a skeletal system to support that massive weight. So the largest worm that I am aware of is a nematode that inhabits the placenta of sperm whales. I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> this nematode is about 28 feet long and uh, has an amazing name like Placentis maximalis or something like that. Oh, it's called Placentus gigantissimus. <laughs> That's actually a fascinating question, and the answer is, is yes. Worm always comes? Always. They're drawn by rhythmic noises. There are parasitic nematodes that can try to find their hosts, their uh, insect hosts, by sensing uh, vibrations in the soil. In a way, it's a little bit eerie, but the experiment that was done to test that uh, the substrate that was used was sand itself. The sort of spiral of teeth that you see in the sandworms of Arrakis, I haven't seen a structure that looks exactly like that in a nematode, but there are so many diverse forms of teeth within nematodes. I have seen things like that. Some worms that parasitize plants actually have a stylet. Uh, it's sort of like a, a sword that ejects from their mouth and pierces through the cell wall of plants. May thy knife chip and shatter. Uh, so they can start ingesting some of the nutrients inside the plant. May thy knife chip and shatter. Spice. 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 Spice enables people to live extraordinarily long lives and somehow, and it's not particularly well explained, also enables interstellar travel. I guess, again, the answer remarkably is yes, that nematodes produce these small compounds called ascaricides that can do a number of amazing things, one of which is actually increase the longevity or adult lifespan of, of nematodes. Desert power. They can also be used for mate attraction or repulsion. Um, can they be used for interstellar travel? Remains to be determined. <laughs>